This video addresses the fifth grade math standard that fractions are division. If you look up here, we have four fifths, but it also can be read as a division problem. Four divided by five. Four divided by five. Notice that you read it just like you read a book. Left to right, top to bottom. I'll do this one more time. Four divided by five. Four divided by five. So the fraction bar means divide! And in a fraction, whatever's being divided goes on top. That's your numerator. And how many ways it's being split goes on the bottom. That's your denominator. So if I had four pounds of candy to split between five baskets, it'd be four pounds divided by five baskets. Or each basket would get four fifths of a pound. Okay, there are two parts to this video. First, fractions can be written as division. Seven halves is the same thing as seven divided by two. Seven divided by two, seven divided by two. And secondly, we are going to discuss between which two whole numbers do improper fractions lie. So if I had five halves, if that's a division problem, between which two whole numbers does the answer lie? Okay, how do you split a candy bar between you and two of your friends? So you have you, one friend, two friends, so three people. Well, each person will get one third. One candy bar split between three people, one divided by three. One divided by three. Each person will get one third. One third here, one third here, one third here. This is you, your first friend, and your second friend. Each person gets one third, or one divided by three. All right, well, what if it's you and five friends and you bought four candy bars? How much does each person get then? Well, there's one, two, three, four candy bars, and it's being split between six people. Four divided by six, four divided by six. So by this logic, each person should get four sixths of a candy bar. Well, if it's one candy bar, it's split six ways. So there's one sixth for each person. One sixth from here, one sixth from here, one sixth from here, and one sixth from here. One, two, three, four, four sixths. Let's see if that works out. So we have four sixths for the first person. One, two, three, four. That's four sixths for that person. Four sixths for that person. Four sixths for this person. One, two, three, four. So four, six for that person. And finally, four, six for the last person. So it works. Fractions are division. The fraction bar means divide. Okay, the other part of the video is, what two whole numbers does an improper fraction lie between? Let's take five halves from our previous example. That's five divided by two, or five divided by two. So how many times does two go into five? Well, it goes into it twice with one left over, so two and a half. Well, if I have my number line, here's two, here's three, five halves is two and a half, so two and one half. So it lies between two and three. Notice how the whole number tells you the lower of the two. Let's do another example. Let's go with 17 thirds. Okay, 17 divided by three. Remember, fractions are division. So how many times does three go into 17? 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, oh no, that doesn't work, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 times. 3 goes into 17, 5 times, with 2 left over. So we have 5 and 2 thirds. Well, here's my 5, here's my 6, 5 and 2 thirds is right about here, 5 and 2 thirds. So 17 thirds is between five and six. Let's do one last example. 26 fifths. Well, fractions are division, so 26 divided by five. 26 divided by five. Five goes into 26, let's count. Five, 10, 15, 20, 25, and then it would be 30, but that's too big. So it goes into it five times with one left over. So five and one fifth. Let's go back to our number line. We have five here, and we have six here. Five and one fifth, 
to be here. Five and one fifth. So 26 fifths lies between five and six. Okay, things to remember. First of all, whatever's being divided goes on top, it's the numerator. And how many ways it's being split goes on the bottom, or the denominator. So if I have 32 ninths, that's the same thing as 32 divided by nine. They're both division problems. The fraction bar means divide! Two, the fraction can be proper or improper. It could be three divided by seven, or eight divided by five. 3 divided by 7, 8 divided by 5. And lastly, improper fractions lie between two whole numbers. The mixed number shows the lower of the two. So, if I had 7 halves, or 7 divided by 2, 2 goes into 7 3 times, with 1 left over. So, this number is between 3 and 4. Stop!